Today's reading tells us about how Jesus called his first disciples, how Sam and Peter and his friends, James and John, followed Jesus. They've been out all night and can't catch any fish. Jesus borrows Simon's boat so that he can teach the crowds that are around him on the shore. When he has finished speaking, he tells Simon Peter to put out his fishing nets into the water. Simon Peter, James and John hadn't caught anything all night. Jesus tells them to try once more. They agree. Pause the video to discuss what happens next in the Gospel story. There are that many fish that the fishing nets are about to split. From what he witnesses, Peter recognises that Jesus is no ordinary man. He is the Lord. Jesus told Simon Peter he would be a different type of fisherman. Jesus was calling Simon Peter to help him bring people to God. Simon Peter was a leader, a person of influence among his friends. Jesus chose him to be a leader among the disciples. We know that he continued to be a leader in the early Christian community. He went on to be, become the first pope. His influence led many people to become followers of Jesus. Another person who answered the call of Jesus to be his disciple was St. John Bosco. We celebrated his feast day on Monday the 31st of January. He is the patron saint of young people. John Bosco, also called Don Bosco, lived in Italy in the 1800s. It was the height of industrialization and the growth of cities. This led to many problems, especially for the poor. He was a priest and saw a need to look after orphan children, giving them opportunities to learn, get an education and to learn a profession that would prevent them from falling into a life of crime. He also helped people to grow in their faith, bringing them closer to God by being authentic in his own faith as an example for others to follow. Like Simon Peter and St John Bosco, how could you be a leader? How could you be a positive influence on others? Consider the words you use to speak to others or about others. Do you use words that build people up rather than tear them down? Consider your actions. How do you treat others? There are many things that we can do, not to talk while someone else is speaking, to actively listen to others, be respectful of others' opinions, even if we don't agree with them, use our manners and show kindness to others, particularly those who are in need. There are many ways that we can set a good and positive example for everyone who we come into contact with. Let us pray that this week we can be Jesus' disciples in the world today. That like Peter and the example of St John Bosco, we bring others closer to Jesus through our positive influence and our good example. We say to St John Fisher prayer together. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good Lord, set me to be a strong and mighty pillar for your true church. I pray for all Christians and people of faith around the world who face persecution and discrimination. Help me each and every day, Lord, to have an open heart for people less fortunate than me and to be thankful for everything I have. Amen. Saint John Fisher, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.